Hello YouTube, um, this is one of my Roby OnePlus Nikkei batteries, it's 1.4 amp hour, 18 volt, and it's uh, died. It's uh, not holding its charge, and it drops down to, oh, I did have it, drops down to, no, stick my head in the way, 9.7 volts. So it is well and truly uh, done for, um, and I'm going to have to throw it away. Not. Nope. Um, I've seen this thing done before uh, on, on another YouTube channel. Uh, someone else did this with uh, one of their Roby batteries. I can't remember for the life of me who it was. Whereby they used a, a 12 volt laptop power supply. Um, see if we zoom in on the numbers. No, not having none of it today. Alright, it goes between 15 and 24 volts. So I can stick this on 20 volt and. Uh, plug it into um, a 12 volt socket and on the other end of it is a plug and socket and two leads now what I plan to do is uh, remove the guts from this battery um, replace it with the, the socket and use um, 18 volt power tools straight from my 12 volt battery bank or 12 volt socket in car or van uh, so well Preferably a van, uh, because uh, I'm going away uh, at the end of the week. I'm taking my drill and my reciprocating saw, because uh, we're going to an area where there's lots of woodland um, to cut up. Well, basically to save myself the effort of uh, cutting up logs and trees into suitable wood for Boris. So, I'm just going to zip through this very quickly. I'm going to remove it, um, drill a hole, glue this in, plug it all together, so you can have a look at the end results. Right, so I have the cells out of the, the drill, the, the drill battery. I have drilled a hole in the back and glued in uh, the jack. I have my two leads. I have the top half with the, um, <laughs> I don't know what to describe it. It's got a cardboard tube inside with the, all the contacts glued to it. So we've got the positive on one side and the negative on the other. Or vice versa um, and the two leads coming off of it now I kept the original lead because it's easier to leave that on there than it is to solder a new one on and this was the tag coming uh, I think it's the positive the tag for the positive which uh, went straight onto a battery uh, there were a couple of other wires in there which went to uh, I guess some sort of if it's still on there some sort of temperature sensor and um, one um, which is on the front of the battery, which I guess is a voltage, um, some sort of sensor, or allows the charger to switch off when it reaches the correct voltage. So, um, I'm going to um, warm up the soldering iron, uh, solder this all together, and uh, I'll button it up and show you my results in a second. Right, well, I've got it rigged up. I've got it set up down there. I'm just gonna do a quick test um, to find out how much current it draws. Um, Offload and unload. So when I'm when I'm cutting and when it's stationary, I'm just going to set this up. I might have to pop that up a bit, and uh, I'll show you. Right. So offload, just running on its own, it is. Peaks at seven when you start it up, but if you start it slowly. It's not too bad. I'm just going to keep an eye on these leads because they are quite dodgy in how they're set up. Uh, now, if I cut some wood, um, we'll have a quick look. I expect it to be higher, and then I'll compare it to the rating of the um, the old laptop power supply. <laughs> I've done it good that time. Yes, it's gone and blown the fuse. I think. Right. Okay. Okay, right, now I've uh, blown one fuse. Uh, I've had the opportunity to go out and buy some more. I've cracked it. Um, basically, I had the the um, setting on 20 volts, and 20 volts, it can only handle 4.5 amps. Um, I'm going to have to read this off the thing, because I don't want to disturb the camera. Uh, but at um, 22 volts, it can... Oh, no, sorry. Um... 24 volts is 6 amp, 22 volts is 6.5, uh, 
18, uh, no, uh, 20 volts is 8 amp, 18 to 19 volts is uh, 8 amp, and at 15 to 16 volts it can pull 8.5 amps. Now, it must have unload pulled a little bit more than it should have, so I'm going to do take two. <laughs> I've actually already trialled this already, so um, without a load on it, so without cutting through the wood. It's 3 amp, and cutting through the wood, I position this. It peaks at around uh, 9 amps, but if you go slowly, it can uh, handle it. It also might not be helped by the fact that these wires are incredibly small <laughs> and they've got warm already. Um, so I'm going to button this together and you can have a look at my final, final, final result. <laughs> right, so here we have the finished product. It is the empty wiry battery uh, with the plug on the back, all soldered together. And when I insert the power supply onto there, we then have a voltage. Now I'm just going to show you on a couple of things first just to prove that it works. So basically you have it on your lantern and if I unplug it, it goes off. Just to prove that the uh, first of all that this isn't just a normal rotary battery. Um, if I unplug that, back in there, I can then plug it into a drill. Quite a slow drill anyway. And if I plug it into uh, a saw, which I have uh, made this for, um, plugged in, proves it works. Um, if anything, it's slightly underpowered and slightly fragile because I'm only running it on a 150 watt um, 12 volt laptop power supply. But if I can get a hold of a, a larger one, then I will certainly uh, be able. Well, it'll certainly be worth it, and also I'll be able to use the saw at full speed instead of having to use it on um, a lower voltage so that it runs um, slightly better. Um, so I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate, and I'll see you in the next video.